The heavy guns are arriving at Zuccotti Park as well, along with these marchers, representatives from 15 of the major labor unions in America are joining forces with the Occupy Wall Street marchers. Among them, the CFL-CIO, United Auto Workers, and Transit Workers Union expect to join the hundreds of marchers coming from Zuccotti Park now up Broadway. Los Angeles has already played host to Occupy Wall Street protesters. San Francisco, Boston, Denver, and Occupy Spokane is taking the anti-big business protest to the Northwest as well. As you can see by the banners here, we are the 99%. The city is making other efforts to stop the Occupy Wall Street activities which have been so far centered in Zuccotti Park in Lower Manhattan near Wall Street. For the Christian Post, I'm George J. Weinbar. A good marketer knows there are profits in volumes, and HP will be doing exactly that when they put 200,000 HP touchpads on the market. The supply of these HP touchpads is limited. They have been selling at a slash price of $99 for the 16 gigabyte model, and 200,000 HP touchpads are positioned directly opposite the Apple iPhone. They're scheduled to go on the market this month. From Lower Manhattan, I'm George Weinbarg for the Christian Post. The magnifying glass of history is starting to focus on the life of late Apple founder Steve Jobs. And a new book is set for release at the end of this month. In the timing of this official biography, titled simply Steve Jobs, the mercurial inventor seems to have timed the release of the 656-page book by Walter Isaacson to coincide with his passing. Isaacson also penned tomes on Einstein and Henry Kissinger. He was given free hand in every aspect of the book. In the Christian Post Newsroom, I'm George J. Weinbarg. It can happen to anyone, an inner demon complicated by poor health. But if it does happen, and we're under a national spotlight, the results are often hard to predict. As the website for the Mormon Church avows, or the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, first and foremost, we believe Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. So what could be wrong? Ken Connor is the chairman. How similar the Nicene Creed is to the Mormon description of its church on their website. The interpretation of Revelations 22.18 is what is questionable to evangelical Christians. The subject of Mormonism is a hot topic. It's currently the subject of a show on Broadway. And New Jersey Governor Chris Christie has just endorsed Mormon Mitt Romney as a Republican presidential candidate. So it would seem that, at least for now, the point of whether Mormons are Christians or not is moot. At least insofar as the Republican presidential nomination is concerned, First Baptist Church of Dallas Pastor Robert Jeffress notwithstanding. Jeffress, as you may recall, created a firestorm when he accused Mitt Romney of not being a Christian. From the Christian Post Newsroom, I'm George J. Weinbarg. The results are in. The toxicology reports Amy Whitehouse drank herself to death. That is according to the reports by the London Coroner's Office, though originally the London Coroner's report was delivered to the wrong address. When it finally reached her parents, the results were clear. Amy's blood level of 416, noted in the toxicology report, was too much for her to survive, four times the legal driving limit. She died as a result of alcohol poisoning, according to the family. The five-time Grammy winner was found dead in her London apartment on July 23rd of 2011. The family was relieved to finally learn of Winehouse's cause of death. It comes as a relief to the family to finally find out what happened to her. Her family also said that Amy had been drinking steadily for several days prior to the alcohol overdose that finally put an end to the 27-year-old's life. At only 24, Winehouse had six Grammy nods and five wins. When she died at 27, her ex-husband, Blake Fielder Civil, was in jail. Her parents had always allegedly exhibited questionable judgment, and the paparazzi always followed her relentlessly. It was no wonder the pressure was apparently more than she could bear. From the Christian Post Newsroom, I'm George J. Weinbarg. It was November 1st, 2007 that Meredith Kircher was found murdered in her Perugia, Italy apartment, her throat slashed. The 24-year-old Knox did not lose the opportunity to celebrate Halloween. She was caught by a TMZ photographer walking down the street in Seattle wearing a cat burglar costume. Knox's choice of a costume has gotten severe condemnation from the Kircher family. John Kircher, the father of Meredith Kircher, says, I find it distasteful that Knox stands to make millions from what happened to Meredith. I don't think anyone should make money out of it. Not us, not them. From the Christian Post Newsroom, I'm George J. Weinbarg. 
She was beautiful and she was dangerous. Well, maybe not so dangerous, but at least enough for the FBI to want to spend 10 years trying to catch Anna Kunchenko and her cronies. In a surveillance video released Monday by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the spy can be seen working to get a foothold into American society by hobnobbing with consulate officials, infiltrating posh parties, and using her charms as Kushenko makes her drop, though unknowingly, on camera. It may have been the end of the government sting operation, but the incident spooked the Russian, and U.S. agents swooped in and busted the entire gang. Spy videos show other FBI evidence. A brush pass at a train station, picking up items in Virginia and New York, a seemingly innocent walk at Columbus Circle in New York. No classified information was ever stolen. Femme fatale Anna Chapman was arrested, but the scenario may not be worthy of a John le Carre Hollywood spy thriller. The Russian agents were so dumb, or the FBI so smart, that they came to believe the U.S. government agents were actually their handlers. After a U.S.-Russia spy exchange, Anna Koshenko ended up back in Moscow, a lingerie model and corporate spokeswoman. She represents a new breed of Russian spies adapted to the post-Cold War world. From the Christian Post Newsroom, I'm George J. Weinberg.